Okay, let's then go straight across to Seher Lotfi. She is the vocalist of the band from Iran. Appreciate, uh, ma'am, you are joining us. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, the, we never thought that we would see an all women's band from Iran. Our impression of Iran was that women would not be allowed to play music as part of a band. So tell us how easy or difficult has it been for you to play as an Iranian woman in an all women's band? Um, actually, Iran has uh, lots of women bands uh, in uh, many kinds of uh, genres of the music. And we are one of them and uh, most of them are playing outside Iran and uh, most of them has lots of concerts inside Iran. Uh, they can play for women, the singers can play for women and uh, the rest of the players can uh, play in public for mixed audience. So, so are you saying that you can, uh, uh, w when you have a concert in Iran, you o have an all-woman audience? Yes, yes. If I am the singer, the audience would be woman, and they are supporting us too much. The woman, uh, the woman in Iran, they are supporting uh, the woman music musicians very much. And 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 what kind of music do you play? Is it uh, 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 what is the kind of music that you are playing in Iran? Uh, Iranian folk traditional Sufi music, it belongs to uh, west of Iran and the Kurdish area of Iran. And, and, and wh how would you then respond to the fact that in Jammu and Kashmir now an all women's rock band has been prevented by a fatwa which says it is un-Islamic? Do you believe that uh, uh, these girls should continue to play music and is it un-Islamic to have an all women's band? Um, actually, I don't have any idea about the Islamic rules because uh, I don't have any idea about religion. I'm just a musician and uh, the, I can talk about art and music. But uh, I think any musician all around the world, they became musicians to uh, be the messengers of uh, love, um, happiness, and uh, not to be uh, the... Um, diplomatic uh, right. matters or the religious matters. So you would like these girls to continue to play? You would like them if they if you believe that music can cut boundaries, it can build harmony. Yeah, any musicians used to perform. A musician cannot be a music musician without audiences and without performing. And, and, and at any stage, did any group in Iran try to stop you? Did your parents try to stop you from performing? Or was there any pressure from any no. religious groups? Fortunately not. We are really supported there. And uh, nowadays, it is the um, international festival, music festival in Tehran. And after I return there, I will have a concert in the biggest hall in Tehran with the symphonic orchestra of the Austrian embassy. Uh, and uh, there will be lots of audiences, mixed audiences there. And uh, nobody is going to stop us. And it did not happen until now. And, and, and who inspired, uh, do you have any inspiration when you decided to become a musician? Were you inspired by Western music or is it very much local indi indigenous Iranian music? Uh, both. Uh, I born in a, a artistic atmosphere of my family and my family supported me too much, especially my mom that was my first singing teacher. and. Uh, uh, actually, the society to um, motivated me to be a musician because uh, it was really attractive for me. For me, when I see that the women society is supporting any women singer and women musician. And what about your male friends? Do they also support you? Uh, your friends in the university or in? Of course. Of yes, of course. Especially my husband. Uh, uh, when we knew each other uh, three years ago, he became the main supporter of me. He is a professional musician in, uh, and well-known musician in Iran, and he motivated me to make this woman band. He believes that the, in, uh, the common uh, emotion between the women can make a very strong music.
you know, you're, you're, you're telling us the kind of things which will be music to my ears and hopefully music to the ears of all those who have shown solidarity with this band in, in Jammu and Kashmir. But one final question, being in India, is it, is it uh, I, you know, Iran and India have had a great relationship over the years, even a musical tradition. We have a shared musical Sufi heritage as well. So are you looking forward to performing in India on Friday? Of course, yeah, it's February and Friday, we're waiting for all lovely people of India uh, that uh, here I'm going to appreciate their, all their kindness and all the hospitality of them. I really love to come to India for performing. Uh, in two, days before, two, two years before I was here for Sufi festival again I, I, and I couldn't wait to come back to India. Yeah, right. Well, we, we are delighted to have you from Iran and all women's band from Iran. You've broken a stereotype, that, an image that is there of your country in the eyes of many Indians. More power to you and to your music. Thank you very much, Ms. Lotfi, for joining us and uh, being such a proud ambassador of your country. I hope that cleric, so the much. Grand Mufti in the valley is listening to what we are hearing at the moment. If Iran can do it, why is Jammu and Kashmir calling music? un-Islamic or a women's band un-Islamic. Someone there needs to wake up in Jammu and Kashmir.